Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Aika. Welcome. I post a lot of fashion related videos, shopping vlogs, reviews, unboxings and all that stuff. So if you're interested, then consider subscribing to my channel by hitting the red button down below and also turn on the bell to be notified each time I post something new. For today, we have a double Louis Vuitton unboxing. I got a new handbag and a new pair of shoes. I'm very excited to share everything with you guys, but before before I do that, I just wanted to thank you for supporting my channel, for being there for me. I received so many amazing comments from you guys on my DMs and in the comments and some of you actually write through my website and you just don't understand how much I appreciate you and especially after the last shopping vlog I posted from Barcelona. I mentioned the comment that I received recently from this girl and at first when I was recording the voiceover I was a little bit embarrassed to even mentioned that because I didn't know how you guys would react and I was scared that maybe you feel the same way as that person felt and honestly I just couldn't thank you enough the love and the support that you've shown me is just unbelievable and I'm so grateful that two years ago I've decided to start my YouTube journey it's been honestly amazing and I didn't even think it was possible to create such an amazing community here and I I just wanted to say thank you from the bottom of my heart so I just wanted to include it in here so let's start with the first item let's start with a pair of shoes I bought them in Barcelona and I'm not sure I think you've probably seen them in my vlog and I just fell in love with them they're so cute I think they're perfect for summer and for springtime and even for fall I guess when it's still warm outside because they just scream summer they scream summer vibes and this is the look I was going for so here they are I didn't get a box with them because we were traveling light and I just didn't have enough space to carry the box with me but I have them in these dust bags and Let's open and I'll show them to you, but they're stunning and I think you will love them. They're not from the new new collection, but it is quite recent. I think it's the summer collection, so are you guys ready? I'm so excited for them. And here they are. I got this beautiful, beautiful white sneakers with LV logo over here and the two stripes, one in light pink and then the other one in gold and I think they are so stunning and so cool for summer. When I saw them I just fell in love and I also love how over here um, they've got this LV tiny little logo over here they're so beautiful and I was so lucky because they only had two sizes left so they had 36 and a half and 37 and 37 is my usual size when I tried them on they felt just a tiny bit tight and I was scared that if I were to wear them with my regular socks not the ones they give you in the boutique they would be a little bit too small so we actually went back to the hotel I grabbed a pair of my socks to just see if that still fit me and they did and also the essay over there told me that since they're full leather sneakers they will stretch out just a little bit so I was like okay cool they had the same ones but with the blue LV logo over here I tried them on in 37 and a half and those one felt a little bit big on me so I'd say if you want to get the same pair go for your regular size they run true to size so yes this is the first pair of sneakers I won't be able to try them on I can't bend down because I don't know I have this severe back pain since morning it's just very painful I'm gonna see a doctor in an hour but I promised that I would film this video today and post it today so I'm sorry I'll try well I'll post some pictures wearing the sneakers for sure on my Instagram so if you don't follow me on Instagram you should check it out I post there daily my outfits a little bit of the shopping sneak peeks so if you're interested check it out as well they were 750 euros and I also got the tax refund which was quite good I think it was about 
13% so I thought it was such an amazing deal and so much cheaper than in Geneva so I am very excited about this pair and now let's open the handbag that I bought I'm honestly not that sure about it because it was an unplanned purchase let's say and I do sometimes spontaneously buy things but everything must be under $800 I think this is the amount that I'm comfortable with spending but if something exceeds that amount I definitely need to sleep on it I need to think about it a little bit more and this time I just couldn't I didn't have that privilege to think I just had to decide on the spot and I've decided to go for it because I know that it's better to buy it and then return it instead of not getting it at all and then regretting it so I've decided to go for it my mom also was like yes go for it you're not gonna regret it it's so amazing you don't have anything like this so here we are today but I'll definitely need your opinion on that we should decide together or maybe if someone's interested in this item you can definitely DM me and um, we can talk but this is the little dust bag it comes in it is a cute bag but I am just not sure so are you guys ready yes <laughs> here she is so I got the multi pochette accessoire with the pink strap and now let me tell you a quick story behind this purchase so my friend was actually looking for this handbag back in March and she put herself on a wait list in Louis Vuitton but with a different essay than mine and she just hasn't heard anything from her and it was the lockdown as well so it took a lot of time so we went back to Louis Vuitton I spoke with my essay we put my friend on a wait list and the bag arrived about two weeks ago maybe even three weeks ago and I posted a shopping blog from Louis Vuitton I'll have it linked here and in the description box showing you this bag and then the next day after we returned from Barcelona she sent me the message that the first essay sent her she was like we received this handbag if you're interested it's available you can pass by anytime today and she sent it to me and as a joke I was like should I get it for myself maybe because I bought it for my mom back in March and then my friend got one and another one was available and initially I wasn't gonna buy it and then it became available and I was like what do I do what do I do I had to think very fast so I decided to go for it give it a go see if I like it see if it grows on me I definitely loved this bag when it was first released but when I got it for my mom in March I was a little bit over it because I already bought it even though it was for my mom I already purchased it you know I don't know it's hard to explain but the more I have it the less I want to return it yeah it's just complicated I don't know what do you guys think should I keep it the only problem is that yes I wanted something pink I wanted a pink handbag and this one has a pink strap but at the same time I'm waiting for another monogram handbag it's gonna be a different style for sure but I'm not sure if I want this many monogram handbags in my collection so far I think I have I have two I have the pochette Matisse and I have the Palm Springs mini in in the monogram and I'm just not sure about it so this is what it looks like you've probably seen it so many times now it is very casual it's very easy to use it has this coin purse over here which you can remove and use separately in different handbags then it also comes with the two pouches over here so this is the first one it's the larger one and you can use it with the strap separately and also there is this smaller one this one is actually bigger than the mini pochette and you can remove it as well and you can use it with this chain as a cute little evening clutch I would say I believe it's made in France let's see yes it's stamped as made in France on the inside it has a tiny little pocket over here in the larger pochette and then in the smaller one there is no pocket because I believe it's just pretty tiny <laughs> and doesn't need one it is a cute bag and I think it will look amazing with my sneakers since they have this pink strap over here it matches the color of the strap and I think they could look 
pretty good together but I'm still not quite sure about it for now when I look at it I like it a lot I also love that I can remove the strap and use it on some of my other handbags like a pochette Matisse or even the Palm Springs mini I think it will look really cool together but I don't know I like it but I'm just not sure should I just keep it my mom was like just keep it it's an amazing travel bag it's very easy to style very easy to use and it looks so cool and I also wanted the Prada re-edition bag I was actually considering that one but at the same time not to offend anyone but it looks less chic than this one it looks less expensive I know it sounds wrong but when you buy a designer handbag it's nylon to me it doesn't look as nice as this one I would say it's so hard <laughs> I actually have a mini pochette right in front of me to show you the comparison just hold on a sec okay so this is the size comparison between the mini pochette and the pochette from the handbag as you can see this one is a lot bigger so I think it would fit a lot more I also want to see if it will fit my phone inside it's very tight here on the zipper part but it fits my phone perfectly so I can definitely use this compartment for my phone and my card holder because it's pretty slim and then I can use the main compartment for something larger that I might need during the day like a hairbrush, hand sanitizers, my airpods, car keys everything can go inside so since I'm already planning what I'll put inside this handbag I might as well keep it because it's just so cute and again as I said the longer I have it here in my room in my apartment next to me the less I want to let it go but I would still love to know your opinion do you like this handbag what do you think of it thank you so much for watching this video Thank you for your kind messages. I think when I hit 10K, we're so close to 10K, I cannot believe it. I will do a giveaway for you guys as a thank you for supporting me. So if you're not subscribed yet, then definitely subscribe. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!